Welcome back to Dan's Learning Curve. Why did I name it Dan's Learning Curve? Because I don't know everything, and I doubt if there's ever anybody on the planet that knows everything. So I'm gonna learn right along with you as I do this thing. Fix this 1958 Plymouth Suburban. Hey, Bandit. And um, hey, this is Bandit. We will pause now for a CAT scan. I've explained Bandit before. He was born on the property. He's a very affectionate kitty. And we had a, he had a brother named Smokey, so you get the name Smokey and Bandit. Smokey and the Bandit. And uh, so, well, he's a pern. Anyway, back to this. Here's the hoping Chrome will get me home. And with a little bit of polishing, maybe you can tell which side is polished. Uh, I don't know, can you? Is it difficult? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the, maybe the camera isn't picking it up. Yeah, I know it is picking it up. A little different. You know, this, this car isn't perfect. Who knows what the story is behind this ding in this bumper. That ding. I'm not sure if I'm going to work on getting this paint off the bumper right now. That's going to be another day project, but maybe, you know, just a little, this, this might add a couple horsepower, you know? Or it might just get me home one day, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Should I do the other half? What do you think? Maybe I should just polish this side of the car and leave that side like that. Hmm. Interesting thought. I'll bring you back. A little tip if you got a bolt that's stuck. I could I could twist this bolt off easy. But it's an original bolt and what's the point of you know it, it's tight. It's it's rusted on there. I've already done this but I'll show you. I mean get that turn the ratchet around. I think you know where I'm going with this video, this part of the video, but, and of course I'm bumping the ratchet direction, but this bolt is stuck. But if you take a, put a little heat on it, it expands the metal and it breaks that rust bond. Of course the bigger the bolt, the longer it takes, um, but this this bolt, of course it'll be hot, but this bolt, once I get it heated up here, the nut and bolt should be pretty loose. Now the other side came loose right away, so I guess it was, depending on how it was sitting in the car, um, when I uh, took it apart and left it. Now let's see if that was enough time to break it loose here. Ooh, that baby's hot. Yep, see that? How much how much easier it was? Now remember, hot metal looks the same as cold metal. So don't pick that nut up off the ground. Let's see if we can do this one without I don't want to keep this plate without burning it, so let me see if I can just add a little heat to the bolt in. This one the uh flathead flogged out a little bit, so See if I can get it loose. Better stop there because I'm the uh, plate's getting hot. I could not turn this either. Long hair, huh? If you're hanging down in that porch, how huh, Mike? Go over and visit uh, Mike Car Shop. Mike, he's, Mike, he's a good guy. He's got some good stuff going. He produces quality videos. I'll put a link in the description for Mike's channel. We just reached a thousand uh, subscribers. Congratulations, Mike. Um, 
if you could go down there and just tickle that subscribe button for me so I could reach that magical 1,000 subscribers. I don't know why YouTube, I suppose they want to make sure you were serious before they start monetizing you, but I would really like to uh, build this channel and, and uh, get it so I can get a car running and also uh, maybe get me running. Well, I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna work that boat for a while, but you get the idea. That one's not coming loose because I'm being conservative on the heat. But all right. What do you guys think? Does it look a little better? I think it does. Not all the screws are in. I'm not sure if I have all the screws. It's a long time ago since this came apart. Went to put the bezel on. This around these headlights in. It looks like uh, this headlight took an impact someplace right there. It's bent, so we ain't even looking. Right there, it looks like it got squished in, so I'm gonna have to take this apart and straighten it all out. So, yeah, it even got hit there or some way, somehow, so. But, yeah, looks pretty good. Took a boatload of paint off this V. Got it cleaned up, it's still gold in and nice, pretty. There was, there was some primer hit on here too on the on here so I, there's two screws holding this V on here and I took that apart and cleaned it up. I didn't take a you know I was gonna get this all cleaned up but there's only so much time so but I don't know back here can you really see that? Yeah, I suppose if you look but so yeah look at this nice huh so both fender spears. Hey, mirrors. Look at that. Mirrors. Wipers. I have uh, plastic arms. But um, I think I want to put new rubbers in here. Rubber inserts in because I don't want plastic on here. Um, I want the rubber. And you guys remember um, me saying that my dad painted this back in 68. And it, it looked good for three days and then it cracked. Well, here's, here's this um, air intake wasn't, hasn't been, had any paint stripped off it yet. And this is why we start stripping the paint. Look at this. The whole car was like that. I know. Can you imagine spending all that time spraying a car and then having it brittle like that? Man, I'm still bummed out my dad had to go through that. So this is the color that he painted it right here. This this has not been sun bleached or anything. So I got a tube of uh, RTV, black eye RTV. I mean a caulking tube, and I'm gonna go around this windshield. I'm gonna f just put some light layers and fill this rubber in. I'm not gonna buy new rubber right now. Hi Bandit. Hi Bandit. What do you need, Bandit? Well, it's time for a cat scan. Bandit's back. Bandit's back. Yeah, I have Bandit. Okay, he's just a purr machine, furry purr machine. So then, uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I put the, I put the um, um, top caps on the rear here. I think what's going to happen here is I'm going to get rid of the loose uh, bondo back here, and I'm going to put rust converter on the um, on the exposed metal. Then I'm just going to clear coat it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clear coat everything. Buy some a few cans of spray clear coat. Just shoot it. Um, nothing here except the except the mirror. So anyway, thought I oh oh did we forget something? Yes, we did. We have wheel covers now, folks, and this wheel will forever. Until I get the correct one. This wheel will forever have that mismatched wheel cover because this is the one that lost the wheel. It went flat when my dad was towing it back in California and the wheel hit right here and nip it down. So that one will forever have that till I get the correct one. And then we have apples here. Hi apples. So yeah, spend some time 
Oh, I left you with half the bumper polished, so I polished the rest of it. All right. I'm going to get this uh, edited and published, and hopefully you guys like and subscribe. I appreciate your support, and uh, I'm going to put uh, a link to uh, my car shop, Mike, and uh, he has been a very good help, and then the hodgepodge Dodge Garage has been a lot of help too, encouragement. Thanks for all the subscriptions, likes, and uh, comments. I was at a local gas station, service station today, and a uh, repair shop, and saw this exhaust pipe sitting out there. Looks like someone, uh, I don't know, looks almost brand new to me. Someone wanted a different exhaust on their vehicle. So they cut it off, I guess. I don't know. Oh, man. Just took it apart. I don't even know what it belongs to. But I hope that there's enough pipe on here maybe to rig up a... Um, temporary exhaust on that 58 Plymouth so we'll see what happens if not man I got probably 30 pounds of 40 pounds of scrap iron all right